Hey friends, and welcome to the video. Eventually I'll figure out what my full opening actually is and everything, because I think it changes every single time, whatever. So normally at the beginning of every year, I always like to take a little collection photo of all of my Lush products, all of my indie products, pretty much all of my like bath collection that I have. It's like a full day setup. I clear everything off my bed. I don't think my collection has been in one photo since my very first year that I started actually being like a collector. Maybe the next year it was like in two photos. But since then, it's pretty much been a consistent like five, six photos, usually broken down into like almost like a bath and then like a shower. And then I do closer up ones of like, say, my perfumes, indie products, all the different kind of like little areas of my collection. And while I still wanted to do that this year, I thought I would do it a little bit differently and actually film it. That way you can actually get a more up close, see the product, see what the name is. Cause I know sometimes it was always a little hard to kind of like figure out what it is. And obviously don't have a label for everything. A lot of like the solid products, like the bubble bars, the bath bombs, not everyone's gonna know the names of those. Heck, I don't even remember all the names of them. Thank you for all the bloggers out there that do you're gonna be amazing and super helpful on this. But I thought it would be really interesting. I've always liked to watch some other collectors and their videos when they actually go through everything and kind of just show it. And it's a nice little nostalgia thing or things that I just always have enjoyed watching. So hopefully you enjoy watching it too. So I've decided to break it up into probably about three videos, I'm thinking. Probably the first one mainly being kind of what's on my shelves here and maybe like a couple of boxes. Second one will probably deal with more of like bath bomb bubble bars, maybe a couple of like other random things that I forgot. And then the third one, I wanted to kind of like focus on like the indie products because those are still huge parts of my collection and indies are amazing. So let's support them as well. Could I have probably done this in one video? Yes, it then would have been an hour long and I don't think anybody's gonna sit through one hour long video of me babbling, at least not at this point. But three kind of like bite sized ones, I figured that would probably be best for everyone. Plus I can see the bath bomb and the bubble bar one taking a little bit longer for inputting all of like the names for all the products, finding them. Cause I'm warning you now, I probably will not remember everything while I'm showing you guys. So I apologize for that in advance. You will always have the name of it going across here. So enough babbling, let's get to part one and the shelves. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with all of these shelves. So what is there? One, two, three, four, five shelves. Maybe a couple of things on the top. These two boxes down here. All right, let's start with the first shelf. This was from Squishy Plushy. I love these, they are adorable. And of course, the drag bombs. Gotta have those up here. Gotta move them out of the way for now. All right, first up, we have toothpaste. So before eight toothy tabs, boom toothy tabs, bubble gum, Adam's apple mouthwash tabs, gin and tonic mouthwash tabs, and my toothpaste jellies, which I think these are actually going to come back. So we have strawberries and cream, Black Sabbath, Megawatt Smile, and White Fang. Pete Foot Balm and Happy Skin, which is a nice facial cleanser. We have Ice Blue Shampoo and then Squeak Shampoo. We have all the dusting powders. So we have Dirty Deodorant, Sleepy Dust, Silky Underwear, Two silky underwear. First snow, fairy dust, two fairy dust, a uh, luster, and a big karma dusting powder. And all the pots. We have orange shower scrub and a gum back brass shower smoothie. Got a heavenly bodies buttercream, a posh chocolate body wash, and a magic crystal shower scrub. An American pie body conditioner and two yummy mummy body conditioners. No fairy body conditioner and a lime bounty body butter. A Bucks fizz body conditioner, a snow fairy body scrub, a mama mia shower scrub. And another Bucks fizz. We have a Christingle and a Tingle, and we have a small Avo No Wash, a large Avo no, no Wash, both body lotions, a Happy Blooming body lotion from Japanese Kitchen, in case you couldn't tell. We have a Maypole body lotion and a Lord of Miss Rule body lotion. And there is a Sesame Suntan lotion, Coconut Snow body lotion, a Sakura body lotion, Grass body lotion, Celebrate body lotion, a Kalakis body lotion, and I believe two more Kalakis body lotions. There you go, shelf number one. On to number two. So this shelf is mainly, as you can tell, perfumes and a few little special things there. So in the back, you can see I have my subscription box, which is waiting on that last one. Old school jar of Celebrate. A little box of incense, which they don't do anymore. Old school bottle of Lord of Misrule. What the bottles used to look like at Oxford Street. Love. Super World Unknown. Thousand Kisses Deep. Karma. Tukka Tukka. Yuzu and Coco. Celebrate. I'm Home. Amelia May. 
Day, Keep It Fluffy, 29 High Street, Perfume Oil, so Grass, Yog Dog, Two Butter Balls, an American Cream, Rentless, there's a What Would Love Do, Curbside Violet, it's an empty bottle, but it's one of like my last little retro items, so I just keep it around just for like sake. <laughs> Some little badges there, Snow Fairy, Shower Gel that has my name on it, two of the wash cards, other little fun kitchen stuff, so we've got a candle, we've got the little mask, oh, two hearts beating his one solid, I don't know why that one's out. It's all the ones I have out here, Snow Fairy, Celebrate, Lord of Misrule, Tuka Tuka, Celebrate, and Twilight. Let's see what's in these boxes. As you can pretty much tell, I have pretty much all the ones that you can find in store plus a whole bunch of others. So like Comforter, we've got Lord of Misrule, Happy Blooming, another Celebrate, Bright Side, Big Calm, uh, What Would Love Do, another Twilight, Who Would Grass, Honey I Wash the Kids, Goddess, another Tuka Tuka, oh another What Would Love Do, Olive Branch, American Cream, Friendless, Cardamom Coffee, oh, there. oh an Ectoplasm, 29 High Street, Amelia May, Yuzu and Coco, I'm Home, and there were all the fun colors. That is shelf number two. Let's move to shower gels. We've got two shelves of them. And as close to color rainbow as I could, but you know, some a little bit more than others. All right, so starting with purple. So first row, we have Twilight. So we have two of the small luster ones, two 250 and one 500 back there. 200 bottles of Plum Rain, also 200 gram bottles of Plum Duff, 100 to 250 gram. Don't Rain on My Parade, Goddess, Berry Berry Christmas, a small Happy Shower Gel, Happy for Sad. And we have two intergalactics, my small little bit of violet nights in the small one my old school one still there old blue skies dear john tramp the other berry berry christmas and i noticed i have another old blue skies really should be next to that one. Oh well we got a rad dad we have two lord of mist rules and we have a guardians of the forest we actually have two guardians of the forest avo shower two bottles of the avocado wash small hundred the avocado wash three bottles of hot toddy because i love it and it is so good a glog and merry christmas and that is the first shelf second shelf okay starting out this side and working our way over two bottles of karma and it was just called karma now it's called good karma everybody needs some and a small bottle of ginger and a 251 old school snow fairy snow fairy prince charming 500 of the comforter smaller and a 250 of roasting chestnuts on an open fire we have a groovy kind of love one 500 cinders another cinders there i like cinders and there's a 250 <laughs> and two of the 100 cinders right there ponche newest one from Valentine's Day. I can resist anything but temptation. Actually, I have two jollies here. Different countries, different batches have different colors. Then we have a bubbly 250, a 500 bubbly. Two of the 29 high streets, two of beautiful shower gel, blackest, one here, one from the Japanese kitchen, so hence the different label. The newly renamed Kalakis is Zesty now. Then a lone little bottle of Yognog, turmeric latte, a 250 of of Yagnog. One bottle of very, very frightening. One Yuzu and Coco 250. 500 Yuzu and Coco. Ectoplasm here. Yeah, you're in yellows. Yep, we have another Ectoplasm back here. Then a Sonic Death Monkey. And a So White, which has been rebranded to Once Upon a Time one. And then the last shower gels in my collection, we have three bottles of Celebrate. And that is all my shower gels. Okay, moving on to shower jellies. These are sort of in color a little bit, as much as I try to at least get the same similar colors together. So first up, we have two of the Kalaka shower jellies, which look like little skull faces, which is super cute. The Roomba and an old Needles and Pine. Avo shower, the Jilted Elf, and Jungle. Next row, I have Silver Bells, Old Sweetie Pie, which is comforter scent, Boo Shower Slime, and then a Twilight, which this is actually a Twilight, also from the Japanese kitchen, Happy Blooming, Deep Sleep, and Monster Octopus, No Cake, Bongo, Ectoplasm, Big Calm, I think is definitely one of the most beautiful ones with the white and the blue, oh, so amazing. Conga, 93,000 Miles one, a pink custard, and an iced wine. A Snowman, which was the shape of a snowman, Sunny Side Up, Butter Bear, oh, two Butter Bears, and Snow Showers, which is Celebrate Scent. We have another Calacus. Yes, the Calacus came in different colors, so here's your like yellowy, orangey kind of one. Fresher, two Bouncing Bunnies, and a Pot of Gold. And those are all my shower jellies. 
All right, moving along on the shelf, my fun, we have the lip scrubs and one lone massage bar. <laughs> so let's start with the fun. So in certain countries, depending on weather, you can actually get your fun in a pot. So these are two fun that I got when I was in Australia. So we have the mermaid fun and the speedboat fun. I think the funs should 100% be in these pots. Last so much longer in here. Like it's just a no brainer. Like I don't understand why, but whatever. All right, then the rest of the regular fun, we have elf from Magic of Christmas, reindeer and Robin. We have a sea monster, a snow fairy. This one is called funny face. And then this baggie of fun here. This is all the ones I got from Liverpool when I went years ago. So we have bronze, quicksand, flamingo, thunderbolt, which I believe this one does glow in the dark, sunset, and silver. And there you go, all of my funs. Next up, lip scrubs. We have golden pineapple, salted caramel, cherry, watermelon sugar, unicorn, cookie dough, pumpkin spice, another pumpkin spice, another cookie dough, toffee apple, galaxy, funfetti cake, another funfetti cake, candy cane, golden pineapple. <laughs> Got some lip balm, so maple taffy, egg snog, ooh, lip lime. And I believe these are my solid lip scrubs that we had, which I actually really love these and I so much prefer these ones to the potted ones. I can't remember which this one is. Does it have something on the back? No. Oh, I think this was Santa Baby. This was like a cola scented one. Another one of those. Oh, this is, I think this was the black rose one. So the nice thing about going through all of my products is that I can reorganize them and see what I actually have again. Always a good thing. All right, and moving on from lip scrubs, let's go to these two boxes here. Bath oils, we got some massage bars, other little scrubs. We got a Something Wicked This Way Comes. Oh, I got so in here. Love Wins. This is one from Australia. Another one of the Love Wins. This is the Gay is Okay one. Christmas Soap. This one is the little Santa letter post box. See, that's where I put the little dude. Bath oils. Two of the Hanama scrubs for the Japanese kitchen. One of the solid sunscreen bars. Golden Pear body scrub. I believe this is the Sleepy Head massage bar. The Igloo, the sugar scrub. Uh, Lord of Misrule body scrub. Aqua Mirabilis body butter slash scrub. A Karma Pyramid bath melt. So glittery this one. Oh, I can't remember the name of this one, but this one's for um, the Trans Day of Visibility. Happy Blooming bath melt. 13 Rabbits bath melt. The Warm Socks bath melt. I Want a Pony bath melt. We have one, two, three of the Igloo bath melt. High Violet bath oil. Take Flight bath oil. We have the Demon bath oil, which is this one here. And this was the Pony one. I cannot remember which this one is called. <laughs> Five of the Plum Pudding bath melt. And we have two of the Retro Tree bath tap. Tablets. Then two of the sand is on his way bath tablets plus a little cheddar. One of the snowman bath melt and a cinnamon orange bath melt. And that's all my bath melts and scrubs and soap and all that kind of stuff. Next one. All my shampoo bars. The new shampoo bar. I can't remember the name of this one. This one was from my one of my latest kitchen boxes. One called Copperhead. Irresistible Bliss. I would love this one to come back. My little smuggler souls. I must took a took a massage bar. Probably should put that in the massage bar box. We have a dirty shampoo bar. Dear John, I believe the shampoo bar, or was this, it was a coffee one. We have a gentle lentil. We have two gentle lentils. Mango exuberant shampoo bar and the posh shampoo bar. Icon hair shampoo bar, all, all my shampoo bars. So I think I'm good for a while with these. So the very top shelf of my bookcase, these three actually have bubble bars in them. So I'll deal that in part two, but we also have other swag. So we have three cork pots, three of the shouter powder, lemon sherbet, the candy floss one, and the dirty deal one. And of course, other little swags, the wonderful door knocker, cause why not? My little bag, and of course some little empty containers and cute little Christmas from past. All right, so that is kind of main shelf and the end of part one. So part two, we're gonna go into the bath bombs bubble bar. So we have bubble bars and that one, that one and that one that one that one and in all of these so yeah that'll be in part two because this video will probably already be long enough so keep an eye out for part two bye everyone